Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today's episode is about talent revisited. And I'm proud to have on the show, unarguably, one of the most talented and versatile Indian actors of this century, the one and only Amir Khan. Amir, uh, me and uh, a lot of the audience here, who are some of them are film actors, budding film actors, uh, want to know, which school of acting do you belong to? Well, I, I'm not a trained actor, actually. So I've not... Uh, I'm not formally trained, uh, I've not been to any film school for acting. So I don't know which school I belong to actually. <laughs> I basically follow my instinct and I follow my uh, common sense. Okay. When I read a script, I try to understand, you know, what, what the character is and I try to understand the head of the character. And then from that everything else flows. So when I'm clear who is the character, hai, um, and then the physicalities and the other things flows from that. But now you are obviously a filmmaker and actor. Now when you read a script, what is the view of the actor or the filmmaker? My view is always the same. I don't think I have now begun looking at scripts differently. I always looked at them the way I still do. As a filmmaker? I don't know whether I looked at it as a filmmaker earlier. I'm not an actor who thinks about his role and he only wants his... That's not how I am. I look at a film on the whole and I see what part I'm playing in it. I look at a film on the whole and I see what part I'm playing in it. And I have to be honest to that part. One tip on acting, what would you tell a budding actor? Well, there are no rules here. That's the first tip I can give you. You should follow your own instinct. Belief is very important. I mean, for me, the ideal state of giving a shot is when I'm semi-conscious. This is your semi-conscious. Well, I'm conscious enough to know and remember the instructions and the lines, but I'm lost enough to be in the moment, you know. Lots to learn from that. Friends, about 20 years ago, there was a film which became a runaway hit and gave birth to a star. The film was Kayamat Se Kayamat Tak and the star was Amir Khan. And now history repeats itself. There was another film which has given birth to yet another star. The film is Amir Khan Productions, Jane Tu Ya Jane Na. And the star is Imran Khan, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome. <laughs> welcome to the show, man. Thanks a lot. Pleasure having you. Please. आपके प्रोमोज जिस दिन से शुरू हुए हैं अभी तक जो हमारी हिंदुस्तान की पीवाईटीज़ हैं उनके दिल की धड़कनें रुक गई हैं कैसा लग रहा है इधर रिसेप्शन व्हाट इस पीवाईटी प्रीटी यंग थिंग्स अच्छा जो यंग यंग गर्ल्स मामू नॉट फॉर मी नॉट यू यू वुड नो अबाउट दिस थिंग्स नो नो यू गाइस डोंट लुक ल Actually, I get a little unsettled by it. With the attention? Yes, suddenly people come and say, Hi, Imran, and I think, how do they know who I am? Well, I remember in the beginning, I also really felt strange. Because I, at that time, things were very different. There was only one channel, Doordarshan. So all these various channels were not there. And you know, Imran, people know before his release. Correct. Before his film is released. At that time, the mainline uh, newspapers never reported on entertainment. Or hardly ever reported on uh, entertainment. Hardly. Yeah, they didn't have a Bombay Times. When my... How when, do you guys do publicity then? Well, our PR person tried to get, you know, some journalist to interview us. Hmm. He didn't succeed much, I think. We were not able to give more than one or two interviews, Juhi and me. Okay. Nobody wanted to take our interviews. <laughs> and the two or three were printed. Oh, they were printed. So we were very upset. Uh, but uh, what I remember about what Imran is saying is, the uh, film was released one or two days ago. And I was driving the car, and I stopped at a signal. And uh, at the signal, I looked, uh, you know, as I, no I normally look, and there was a car next to me, and they were, they were looking at me and smiling, and you know, so I said, I, do I know these guys? <laughs> Thinking. So I also gave a half smile. Uh -huh. Maybe I know them, God knows it. Uh -huh. So I looked to see there's another car on this side. You know, Maybe they're saying <laughs> hi to somebody else, God knows it. It took me a good 30 seconds to realize that yeah. they're actually uh, waving to me and saying hi. And I don't know them. And then it struck me that, oh, oh, they must have seen Kayamat Sa Kayamat. Right, right. I used to feel awkward giving an autograph. Because I used to feel, you know, embarrassed giving an autograph. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. It's a very you know, you would think that you'd feel thrilled giving an autograph. Ki yaar, koi autograph I used to feel embarrassed. 
I mean, now I'm used to it, but at that time in the beginning, I used to feel embarrassed. And I would almost say, look, it's okay. I mean, you know, <laughs> what are you taking my autograph for? Yeah? <laughs> Look, we are actually saying that here is the new Amir Khan. Do you think you are on the way to becoming the next Amir Khan? Wow, God knows. It's very difficult, I know, but you know. He is also quite a pain, so I don't know whether I am that. Tell us about that. I am not that painful. Now you are caught, now you are on camera. Who, me? There is no escape. There is no camera. You are talking about me. What do you think about Imran as an actor? Well, I think he has a lot of potential. I think his strong points are uh, that he, the camera loves him. Uh, he has a lot of honesty and sincerity towards what he's uh, aiming at. So he stays within character. He stays honest to what he's doing. There's a lot of belief in his uh, performance and the way he approaches the scene. I think his negatives are that he's still raw, okay. uh, but that's a natural process. I think I was even more raw when I began. Amir, coming back to you, when you launch a new actor, there is a lot of responsibility. In this case, you are launching your own flesh and blood. Does the responsibility double? No, it doesn't. Actually, I don't look upon films as launching Imran or launching actors. That's not why I make films. As a producer, my responsibility is to my audience. Get a good script, cast it appropriately and make it well. That's my responsibility and that's what I do. I liked the script, I liked it on Abbas. And I liked the casting of Abbas' casting. I saw his test, I saw the test of all the other actors. Okay, you didn't film this film because you were a nephew of this film. No. I think that each one of us has to earn that right. And I think that if I didn't, genuinely if I didn't feel that Imran was suited for the part, I would never have cast him in it. I would have still made Janitu. Right. Perhaps, but not with him. Replace कर देते आपको अगर आप अच्छे नहीं होते तो. And I don't think he would have wanted any any other way. नहीं, even I expected that. When the film was picked up again, my screen test was reviewed. I was it it was kind of a re-audition process. Really? That's interesting. And I I honestly, as he says, I wouldn't want it that way. कि हाँ, just because he's my nephew, I will make. Like I wouldn't have wanted Nasir Saab to make a film with me just because I'm his nephew. Correct. I want him to make a film with me if he wants to make a film with me, if he thinks I'm suited for the part and if he thinks that I'll do a good job. And that doesn't change my love or closeness towards Chachanan or Imran for that matter. Amir is known as uh, the Tom Hanks of India. I don't know whether he takes a, I, I think Tom Hanks is the Amir no, Khan of No, that's a big Hollywood. compliment. Yeah, I think Tom Hanks is a great actor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, and because of his versatility. So, you've always thought that, of course, it's too premature to ask you, but you've always thought that, what kind of films do you want to do? What kind of films? I don't think so. I see that I like the script or not, I like the project or not. Amir Ramu also I think chooses his films the same way. Yeah, you mean, I mean, we don't decide before that I want to do an action film or I want to do a comedy. Is it not like that in your mind? No, I may want all that to happen, but when I'm finally selecting a film, it's based on what comes to me and what excites me. Like, you know, when I was doing Mangal Pandey, that's a very dramatic film. And after that, I liked one script, I liked it, I liked it. That was a very dramatic film. And I remember telling Mehra that I like your script so much, but I want to make two dramatic films in a very low film. After four years, I want to do Mangal Pandey. So I want to do something totally different. Something maybe very light-hearted, maybe a romantic film or comedy. But I loved his script. So I did it. You know, I didn't... Even after that, even Fana was a... Well, Fana was basically a romantic film. But heavy. Yeah, it was dramatic. Dramatic. After that, Tare Zami. Yeah. That's a very heavy film. In fact, the good you mentioned Tare Zami, but one question which I wanted to ask you, which I forgot. As an actor, you obviously have told me many years. When did you come to your mind that you should now direct me? I thought that I should direct a film for many years. I should direct a film. My training is as an assistant director, and I was trained to be a director, but I started with acting. So, over the years, I've always wanted to make a film, and somehow I was so excited as an actor and I was trying to improve myself as an actor as I went along that making a film was always I was doing it on the side. On the back burner? On the back burner. And then came a stage where as an actor I had become so successful that then I began getting nervous. Because I thought, my God, the expectations from me directing a film will be so high. What can I direct that will satisfy people? So that was the second phase, you know, when 
I started getting these thoughts. But I still thought that I'll make a film. I mean, when I when the right subject comes along, I'll make it. So Tare Sami par happened, you know, out of the blue, and I wasn't expecting it. I've just directed my first film, and I get this question very often: "Ke uh, what satisfy satisfies you more, acting or direction?" Ah, uh, that's a tough one. <laughs> that's a tough one. I hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I I guess both. Yeah, I mean both have different demands. Right. Both can be extremely satisfying. Um, different kind of satisfaction. Different kind. I I guess making a film is more satisfying. More satisfying. Yeah, so I think because it's you know you're in control of everything and and uh, so in that sense, at the end of the day, if you've succeeded in making what you want to make, it's much more satisfying. On that satisfying note, we will take another short break. But after break, we still have Amir and Imran with us. So don't go away.